Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. We are on episode 7. I honestly did not know when we would get to episode 7, but I knew one day we would get there. <laughs> it is a new year. We are not in 2022 anymore. We are in 2023, and I just want to say Happy New Year to all of you guys out there. Um, I hope that your new year has been good so far, and if it hasn't, don't beat yourself up about it. You still have so much time to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish, to do the things you want to do, and to hit those goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year. So make sure that you're just giving yourself a little grace in this season and not comparing yourself to others because comparison is the thief of all joy. I have witnessed that firsthand, so just just don't even do it. Just don't even do it. <laughs> This is also our first episode where we will be recording on video as well. So you guys will be able to go to my YouTube channel and actually watch this podcast episode as I'm recording it. I was so nervous to just record the actual episodes just because you have to have it together a little more in video than you do on audio. So I'm excited to see how this goes. If you guys like seeing the videos instead of the audio or seeing both. So make sure on YouTube that you let me know what you guys like, if you guys like seeing this on YouTube as well, and I will continue to post it. So as you can see, the title of this podcast is Prepare for the Promise. And that has just been sticking with me from the beginning of the year, end of the year, beginning of the year, it's just been stuck with me, preparing for the promise. And when I what I mean by preparing for the promise, as you guys know, I'm a Jesus lover. I'm a Christian woman. So for me, this is what it means to me. Preparing for the promise. It's preparing for what God said he would do for you. What God said he will change in your life. What God said he will make better in your life. It's preparing for that, although you cannot see it. It's seeing something before you see it and getting ready for it to come into fruition. I love doing the podcast because I really feel like I can be transparent. And this is like where I can talk about things that I probably usually wouldn't talk about with strangers. But if it helps anyone else, I'll talk about it. So for me, I've definitely struggled with preparing for what God promised me. Um, we start these things like YouTube channels, businesses, and we don't see the growth that we think we should see. At least for me, that's how it's been for me. I don't see the the reward that I feel like I should see. So therefore, it's kind of hard to believe and trust in God and what he said or trust that he's going to make a way out of no way. But in in the last few months, I, it's been trying. I can actually say the last six months, it's been very trying. Um, So in December, was this in December? January. I think this was December. It might have been November. So November, December, my car actually just it quit on me, right? And this happened at a time where I wasn't prepared for this to happen. This was right before Christmas. And I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> I don't know what to do because I wasn't prepared to get a new car and figure that whole situation out. But um, I don't know. This time it's different. I'm just, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Of course I was angry. Of course I had my emotions about it. I'm a crybaby, so of course I cried about it. But overall, it's just like, whatever. Because at some point you realize you can only do so much. We are mere mortals. We are only human beings. We can only do so much. And to put so much pressure on myself to figure things out, when I know that I'm physically or... I'm just unable to figure this thing out the way I would like to be. So you have to put your trust in God. I have to put my faith in God because I can't do it. And if I continuously beat myself about the fact that I can't do it, I would run myself crazy and you will do the same. Okay, so I'm also just trying to be more consistent with my clothing brand. I'm trying to get out more with my clothing brand. I'm just trying to do more and show the world what dynamic has to offer 
So I definitely want to do events. I want to travel. I want to just get out in front of people as much as I can. So I have this event that I want to go to in February. Today is January 26th. Still have no car. Am I worried? Not the least bit. Because it's, it's going to figure itself out in some way. And I just trust God that it's going to work out. I don't know how it's going to work out, but it's going to work out. And I'm going to get to this event. And the event's going to be great. I have no doubt. I should be, uh, technically, I probably should be worried right now, right? But I just, why? If there's nothing I can do right now to make the situation better or make the situation less worrisome, I'm not about to stress myself out about it. But there's this event that I'm planning for. And as I'm planning, I'm, I'm getting things ready. I'm getting product ready. I'm getting the setup ready. Although, I can't say that I don't know that I'm going to be there. Because in my mind, I'm going to be there. Period. There's no ifs, ands, or but, buts about it. And that's where, that's, that's the preparing for the promise. You do what you have to do until you see it. You work for it until you see it. You may not be able to see the promise right now in real life. But you've seen it in your mind. You know the things that God has said that he's going to handle for you. So prepare for the promise. Trust in him. Have faith that what he said will come. And I'm by no means saying that preparing for the promise is easy. It's definitely not easy. You definitely have to, number one, establish what you want. You can't expect for these great things to happen in your life and you don't even know what it is that you want to happen. Oh, I just want, I just want a lot of money. I don't really care how that money comes. I just want a lot of money. We all want a lot of money. But how are you going to get there what are you going to do to bring that into your life you have to be specific about the things that you want be specific when you're praying or meditating whatever you do be specific in what you want one way to make sure that you're being specific is to take notes i you should see my notes app it's crazy take as many notes as you need i have like five different notebooks i don't know why i have five different notebooks <laughs> they're not filled but I'm writing. I'm writing what I want. I'm planning for what I know God has for me in the future. You have to have faithful preparation. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt God. And don't doubt what he said that he was going to do for you. Be specific in what you want. Tell him what you want. Ask for what you want and prepare for that to come. You have to believe that what you ask for will come into fruition. If you don't believe it, it's like putting a dark cloud over yourself willingly. If you don't believe it, if you don't believe something, how do you expect for everyone else around you to believe something? How do you expect for people to support you in whatever you're doing? How do you expect for God to truly move in your life if you don't even believe that he can? Because even if he does do it, you didn't believe that that was possible. So you're going to be shocked, surprised, like, oh my gosh, you really did that. Okay, I see you. But you didn't believe that he could. That's kind of like a slap in the face. When somebody, somebody faithful, somebody that's never let you down, somebody that's your ride or die tells you something, you don't believe them because of unforeseen circumstances. That's like a slap in the face to this person. Like, you don't trust me? I never did anything to make you not trust me. After establishing what you want, after being specific, making those notes, now it's you got to put some action behind it, right? Figure out what it takes to get it done and do that. But don't don't start so big and huge and grand. You can have that grand vision, but that grand vision isn't going to start on the grand level. It's going to start on that bottom level. So figure out what it takes to get where you want to go and start small. If your goal is to go to an Ivy League college, Figure out what it takes to get to the Ivy League college. You have to start small. What what should you get on your SAT? What should you get on your ACT? What should your grades look like? What should your community service look like in order to get into this Ivy League school? You're not just going to automatically go Ivy League. You have to do some things in order to make it up to that Ivy League school. Make sure you are making smart choices. When I tell you that I am 26 years old and I do not always make smart choices especially when it comes to like finances and things like that 
make smart choices don't put yourself in a bind don't put yourself in a hole like if you can't handle if we're talking about this ivy league school right if you can't handle six extracurricular activities don't do six extracurricular activities because something's going to fall off or something's going to go wrong because obviously you can't handle six extracurricular activities six classes a job you know make smart choices while preparing for the promise sometimes you can't do the things that you used to do sometimes you can't hang out with the people that you used to hang out with and even your loved ones even even the people that you want to be around 24 7 you want to hang out with sometimes you can't do that because you know that you have a place that you must get to you must do the work in order to get what god has promised you you have to make smart choices me for instance i know i want my business to be huge i want to do as much as i can right now to set that foundation for my company so that we can be huge make a huge impact on people i can't go out all the time i can't hang out all the time i can't spend my weekends drinking all the time i can't spend my weekends partying i have to put in work on the weekends this is my off day from my nine to five and i'm working all day but that's that's one sacrifice that i have to make that's a smart choice that i have to make so that I am not voiding myself out of that promise that God has for me. If I was to not work on my business at all, not do what I have to do, and God has promised me that dynamic fashion will be huge, he's promised me that, but I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't do what I was supposed to do in that promise, right? It's like a deal. If you do this, I'm going to do this for you, but you just have to do this one little thing for me. Do this one little thing for me and you don't do that one little thing why would he give you this huge blessing that he has for you would you do that for somebody else i know i wouldn't if i if i have a million dollars for you we, we're gonna talk money if i have a million dollars for you and i say oh i just want you to walk my dog just walk my dog take care of my dog um treat my dog well and i'll give you that million dollars i'm not telling you when i'm gonna give you that million dollars I'm not telling you where I'm going to give you that million dollars, but that's not for you to worry about. What you need to worry about is taking care of my dog. But if you don't take care of my dog, why on earth would I still give you that million dollars? It just makes no sense. And we talked last episode, if you haven't heard it, um, make sure you go back and listen. Because the third thing that I want to tell you is to commit. Commit and do it. If you're committed to the end goal, there's no stopping you. You have to commit to whatever your vision is. You have to commit to whatever God asks you to do. Ignore setbacks from wherever they may come. My car quitting was a setback. But am I going to stop? No, I'm not going to stop because I'm committed to the end goal. Right now, my commitment is getting to the event. I'm committed to that. Because I'm committed to making Dynamic better and getting Dynamic's name out there. So that setback from my car is not going to stop me because <laughs> we're going to figure it out. God's going to bring something to me where it's going to just work out in my favor. And I truly believe that. So it's going to happen. It has no choice but to happen. You also have to ignore the naysayers. People are going to hate. People are going to have something to say. But people are not in your position. And that's just period. They're not where you are. They're not where you're going to be. So you have to ignore people talking. People are going to talk. They're going to talk even if you're doing good. They're going to have something to say. But you have to be strong-minded to where you can ignore whatever they're talking about i've been doing this since 2017 and when i started in 2017 people were talking a lot of people had stuff to say about the quality about how i ran my business nobody gave me grace people weren't giving grace like oh she just started you know mistakes are gonna happen it was people close to me talking about me, my business, my product, people close to me. It don't matter who it is. They're going to talk. But you just can't worry about it. I'm still going and it's 2023 and I'm still here. Better than I've ever been. Business better than it's ever been. Quality better than it's ever been. I bet they're still talking. But I bet I don't care. Because I have a job to do. I have a promise to get to. And if I want God to deliver on his promise, I have to deliver on mine. Switch your focus. Don't focus on what other people are saying. Don't focus on what other people are doing. It's okay to be inspired. 
but do you and don't focus on all the noise that's around you focus in on what your goal is focus in on what you're supposed to be doing and what god has promised you will come before we end this episode i just want to say this this is like a waiting season and usually when you hear about the waiting season it's in terms of relationships and friendships but you also have to wait for what god promised you you have to wait for what he said will come whether that's a relationship a job a car a business blowing up uh, a degree or whatever it is the waiting is not easy but every time i've heard of someone waiting doing what they have to do in that way it's come the promise has come and sometimes the promise not, might not even be what you thought it was but the promise will come your responsibility is to do what you are supposed to do in that wait prepare for the promise actively prepare for the promise that god gave you faithfully prepare for the promise that god gave you that's your only responsibility you don't need to figure out how why what when where you just need to do the simple things that he asked you to do. The simple things that I'm doing right now to prepare for this event. I'm getting the clothing ready. I'm getting the setup ready. I'm getting myself ready. That's all I can do. I can't handle how am I going to get there. Because I don't have a car. So how am I going to get there? Where am I going to get the car from? How much I need to pay for the car? Where's the car? How do, I cannot. I can't worry about that. When the time comes, I'll have a car. But either way. You will see me at that event because God makes a way out of no way. And I am preparing for the promise. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Be Dynamic podcast. Thank you guys on YouTube for tuning into our very first podcast that's on video. I know my background isn't like aesthetic or anything, but don't I, I can't let that type of stuff stop me. So I'm here giving you guys this podcast episode in the middle of it. I'm, I'm just in the middle of it in the midst of it all so thank you guys so much uh, make sure that you like this video comment subscribe all of that good stuff um, let me know what you think about the podcast down in the description below also on youtube check out the previous videos i mean <laughs> check out the previous podcast that i've done i hope that those touch you i hope that those help change your life but yeah that's all i have for you guys um, make sure you check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com. Check us out on TikTok, Dynamic X Fashion. Check us out on Instagram, Dynamic X Fashion. Facebook, Dynamic Fashion. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you guys continue to change, progress, grow, and be dynamic. I'm out of here.